We have things to talk about. This isn't gonna be easy. The whole point of this, and I want everyone here to know this, I only do this for fun, Greg only does this for fun, Kai only does this for fun, and Austin, my brother, who you guys really don't see very much, only does this for fun. This is Austin's Jeep. That's the whole reason why you guys haven't seen him is because he wants to be out here and entertain you guys and doesn't see a point in being on camera unless he has a way to entertain you guys. So, if you please could like, subscribe, write a comment, and tell us all about your Jeep. We got a Facebook group where you guys can go and put up posts about your Jeep. We'll even write inside that Facebook group when and where we're going wheeling here in Washington State. So you should come out and have fun with us. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, long story long, this is how it goes. Bought this XJ, it's XJ Sport, really, really clean body. I only picked it up for $1,200. It ran and drove, but I pissed and slapped really bad. So, we'd already resigned. We're just gonna throw a new motor in it. I put a, you know, I guess an APB out. <laughs> um, looking for a high output four liter. Told people what I had to spend. Um, a guy hit me up all the way down in Graham. By the way, I live in Snohomish, it's about a two hour drive. And he said, hey man, I got this freshly rebuilt uh, high output. It's in really great shape, all new gaskets, all new everything. It's sitting in my Jeep currently. If you want to buy it, I'll pull it. I said, uh, let's do it. So they come, they drive all the way down there. First off, it gives me like three different addresses. Um, he's like, well, this one's close to my house. And then this one over here and the whole time I'm going, man, this is just super duper sketchy. Uh, finally, I get to the right address. <laughs> sent me three different addresses that two of them came to like empty cul-de-sacs. Uh, started it, it ran good, didn't make any noises. Um, seemed like, you know, when you revved it up, there was no missing, there was no nothing. Now, some of the things that made me think, you know what, this guy might honestly be being honest with me. There are all new uh, freeze plugs in this entire engine, okay? Which tells me he got in and did all that. On top of it, it had all new gaskets on the entire thing. Everything was sealed. It was sealed. And then it has an MST ignition on it, all that good stuff. We get here and we're like, okay, well, if we're putting it in this Jeep, we're going to yank all the easy gaskets, the stuff that's going to be problematic, like the rear main, the, you know, valve covers. I mean, everything. We were just going to make sure all the gaskets were good in it. So one guy was going to be rebuilding this while two guys were taking that out, and then I was gonna stand there and film. Well, that didn't exactly work out. Let me show you why. We pushed one time on the crank and the entire crank moved about a quarter inch. Thrust bearings are completely and totally gone. There's literally nothing left of them. They're all grooved and terribly gross and disgusting. So, that being said, we bought this motor. It's a high output motor. The heads are worth a lot of money. We're gonna rebuild it. We're gonna rebuild it and make this one beautiful and awesome and immaculate. We're gonna put it into this Jeep. I'm gonna take this motor and I'm gonna build a stroker motor for my ZJ. $15 for a ZJ. What's a ZJ? <laughs> if you have to ask, big man, you can't afford it. I got four dollars. Very, uh... So today, I've already started a lot of the process over the last couple of weeks here. Um, I took all the accessories except for the ignition off. Um, so I am going to get to work, start stripping this motor down. I'm going to start with, uh, you know, valve cover and work my way all, all the way down. But first, but first... We need, there's still a bunch of oil in this, in the bottom of this, and we need to do something about that. So when we, when I pull this pan, I am gonna set something down over here to pick up all the oil. What am I gonna use? Oh, we 
got what we needed. So I guess we are gonna rotate the engine. Well, I'm gonna pull this guy off first. Get it off. Oh, right here. Right on our cable that I brought in just for that. I'm gonna pull that guy back off of there. Right there so we wouldn't lose it. And now, I am gonna go for the flip. Oh no. I gotta figure out what to push this out for. Maybe we can go that way with it. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, that's a mess. God damn it. Yep. Well, where's the mess I was expecting? At least some of it's getting caught. So, I'm gonna start from the top, put you guys on a time lapse and start just a million and a half things all at once. All right, we got the head off. Now we are gonna, I guess, put the motor, undo the oil pump, and then undo all the crank bearings, all the, all the crank bolts, and then slide all the pistons out. And then, oh cool, that's what I got caught on, nice. Broke that right off, didn't I? Nice. Where did that go? Nice. Reverse threads, maybe? Watch me break off this bolt. You already watched me break off this bolt? Let's do it. I didn't break it off either though, so it's good. Well, I guess we'll leave that. Nice and well. Pulling the retainer for the shooter. That pulled nothing off there. Pull. Pull right there. Just get the coil. Got it. Got it. Here. Bam. Here comes the storm. The storm. Set
All right, so we are back here. Got all the pistons taken out. Need a pulley so I can pull this pulley. And then I can get behind here and pull the timing chain and uh, the cam. And then it's all the way down to a block, basically. Oh, like that. So that's pretty awesome. Got it all brought down to the block. Got everything in where it needs to be. The tools over there. So this one went pretty good, I think. We just need to get that pulled, get that down, then basically I think we just got freeze plugs. And that is about it. So thanks for checking this one out today. Excited. I'm gonna get that Jeep back there going and uh, get everyone out having some fun. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching and I'm really excited to put this one together. All right, well, YouTube, I will check you guys later.